What kind of stuff can you find at the Brimfield Antique Show? How about jewelry? Books? Instruments? Clothes? Clocks? Cannons, if you're into that? And all of that is in just one tent, in just one field, in just one tiny corner of this town-turned-flea market. On the second Tuesday of every May, July, and September, Brimfield, Massachusetts plays host to thousands of dealers for a six-day feeding frenzy of antique collectors, connoisseurs, and curiosity seekers. Spread over several square miles, it's the largest outdoor antique show in the world, and more than just a little intimidating. But if you look hard enough, you can find anything. Seemingly everything ever made since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution gravitates to Broomfield during these few days, including a few surprising items you'd never think to look for. But the strangest thing I did see here at Broomfield was an actual casket with a skeleton in it, which it was kind of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? So when I saw that, I figured, well, you know, anything goes here, no point. <laughs> kind of like New York, you know? <laughs> nice people come through and they enjoy and they make comments and state that it's enjoyable to look at everything because of the way you lay it out. You know, they can appreciate it and then if they're fortunate, they can get a good price because I bought, purchased it at a good price. Mm -hmm. And they can enjoy themselves and have a good day and we enjoy the mix of people that come through, which is everyone under the planet, the <laughs> four corners of the world they come through. <laughs> and for every visitor to Brimfield, there's a dealer with a gimmick to rope them in. Some use food, some tell jokes. Paul, well, Paul brings the funk. <laughs> Others, though, choose slightly more subtle ploys. I probably have the most colorful booth because there's not only color, but there's motion and there's sound. Carl Ellsworth is a four-year veteran of Brimfield, and on top of peddling vintage paintings of dogs, he offers visitors some free advice. Well, one thing is, is that this show is a very large show. So be sure that you bring comfortable apparel and particularly shoes because you'll, there's so much to see here. It could take you in a, almost an entire week just to walk the show. It's like going to Disney World, except this is the Disney World of antiques. If you decide to visit, you should also remember to bring plenty of cash, but only as much as you're willing to part with. Brimfield is full of treasures you never knew you needed, and after a few hours of looking, you're sure to leave with empty pockets and a very full trunk.